Good morning folks. Um as usual my name is Rachel Noble Day. I hope everyone is good and is enjoying life as God has provided it for them. Um this morning I just wanted to speak about uh, the value of um having a large family and having access to a large family as a resource. Um the word of wisdom is coming from the Baganda Proverbs and it says Agafunda gadakumwala or if you like a lake recedes to its spring in the dry season. In ancient Buganda marriages were built on productivity not love. A wife therefore would be taken for her ability to work hard and a husband accepted for his demonstration to provide food and shelter in addition to their level of influence in society in those days family units were set up for economic and political dominance as productivity depended on manpower influence was driven by biological expansion which led to an increase in family capital as such in the time of plenty it was natural to spread out and sometimes wildly lakes and rivers do the same and so does many organic growth however no matter how far they may spread the only force that keeps them productive is their unbroken link to their natural habitat their origin likewise for a river to continue flowing it must remain attached to its spring when the sun scorches it in the desert it drives it back to its spring if it flows in a path with barriers it cannot shift with the force of its current that river will dry out in the desert similarly if a seedling is cut off its trunk and is not put back in the soil that seedling will soon die of natural causes this organic growth dependence to the origin demonstrates the values of strong bonds to the family unit. It is foolish therefore to cut oneself from their ancestors, parents, or the environment where one was groomed and shaped into greatness. It is easy to think that you don't need anyone in your time of plenty and you behave like a river in the rainy season running wild like the prodigal son of the bible staying connected provides you with the opportunity to recede to your natural habitat in the dry season there you will find your strength to flow once again when the waters return to your life it is no surprise therefore that clans are the backbone of buganda Every Muganda is connected to their forefathers through the clan system and can be identified by their names and family tree back to the first elder of their clan their origin Family ties are therefore very important as a support network for the development social security and insurance of the Buganda economy and as such the African economy you the diaspora sometimes when you move away from home and go into countries where you develop your skills your professions your wealth you sometimes feel that you are no longer connected to your natural habitat africa but no you must always remain connected to your origin your forefathers land and that is the only way africa can also develop like the lands where you live right now families around the world who still practice this law of organic capital growth have gone on to become great empires because they never dry out they always have a clear path to the family capital asian families for example invest in this cultural economics what has kept them strong though it must be said is to be of the same blood and faith they have no barriers back to their origin whereas in some african um, environments like in buganda you may find that in a single household you have five different religions and political affiliations these are the significant barriers that sustain droughts in the lives of um, africans 
clans commune for funeral matters instead of worship and economic development. From Friday to Sunday, the families are divided into faith groups. It could be a missed opportunity. Other barriers to a natural habitat could be rebellion, like that of the prodigal son of the Bible. The prodigal asked his father for an inheritance while he was still alive. The loving father gave it and sent him on his way. After squandering his wealth and repenting of his sin, he returned to his father. It is not uncommon in Africa where a single family can tear each other apart and fight amongst themselves, dividing the properties that are left to them by their forefathers, uh, sharing land and tearing it into pieces, little plots here and there. And before long, all of this property, all this resource is squandered like the prodigal son of the Bible. Whereas if the families were to join together, investing together, forming um, corporations together, the family would expand and continue growing and acquiring even more properties like we see in the Asian families, like we see in the Israelites families. They invest together, they work together, and they stay together, they stay connected for years and years and years. Trusts are formed amongst our families so that their properties are added onto. When a child is born and joins the family, there's added value but not taking away and not portions, not apportioning what they find on ground. We should always aim to add value. We should always aim to add to that which we have found and stop this habit of tearing it apart and squandering it like the prodigal son of the Bible. But we see but that when this, this, this young man had repented himself, he went back to his origin. He went back to his family. Just imagine if his brother had also done the same and he had taken his share away and squandered it then this family would be completely gone always always be sensible and stay connected to the rules of of the natural environment that god your creator put you into there you always overflow with blessings agafunda gadakumwala be blessed